in one of our last videos we showed how to do like an automatic shout out there's obviously people that you don't know that come in and maybe a raider or something that you want to shout out manually i'm going to show you three different ways to kind of do that one via script maybe even change a scene or just a simple text if you see any value in this please hit the like hit the subscribe come hang out with us on twitch monday tuesday and thursday at 11 p.m eastern time the software we're going to be using for this is obs studio streamlabs chatbot and scripts with streamlabs chatbot i'm not sure yet how long this video is going to take so bear with me let's let's just get right into it So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is a quick, easy way that Streamlabs has built into it already. What it does is in the, in the notification tab on the left-hand side, if you go down to the host section, I don't use this one because uh, I have more fancy ones and I'm going to show you those in a little bit. But you can turn that on and then you can just type in the response right here. So the trick is this uses the, a lot of the parameters that Streamlabs has um, built in. So the best way to kind of handle this and know exactly what you want to say, uh, like let's bring up the what, what game they were playing, obvious their username, thank you, whatever. Um, you want to go to the chatbot documents page, which I have brought up right here. Uh, and so user game, user status, uh, user name is another one, but I'll, I'll put a link to this in the description so you have it. Um, but what you would do is, so I have that. I've got my username. Thank you for host. Um, they were playing. And then you would type in, so you can see what it says. It says user game, user uh, user game like that. So you can just take that copy and paste. And so when they come in, it'll, it'll give the, the username of the Raider. Um, thank you for the host. And they were playing this game. The second option uses a script that we did a video on earlier. And I'll also put that link down in the description, but what it does, it's a OBS remote. And so if you have a scene, say somebody raids, you might have a specific scene that you want to go to. So when somebody raids you, you can have it automatically switch to a new scene. What you would do is you would use this same host notification, except instead of using these parameters, you would use a different script parameter. So this GitHub website here, which shows the, the remote parameters for the OBS, uh, it's this OBS scene, and then you just put in parentheses what the scene is. And then it, if you put that in your automatic host, reply instead of showing up as text i could put the obs scene and then i could put like my gaming scene or something and then close it what it would do is it would take me to the new scene and then also type in chat what's after it and unfortunately i'm not live so i can't show you somebody rating me and how this works now the third and final one is a script that I use and it's called Shoutout Overlay and it's made by Darth Minos, I guess. I may be saying that wrong, but I will make sure to post a link on where you can get this script. So to use the script, you can click on it. You can make, this is where you put what command that you're gonna be using. The setup on it is actually fairly easy. I, I kind of leave most of this alone, leave the shout out there. Uh, the duration, obviously you can change. I don't have a cooldown because sometimes I forget all, at all my shout outs and then I do them all at one time. Permission level, obviously pretty self-explanatory. And then the one that is big is the style. So you can change the color. I usually use purples and oranges. Uh, you can have what type zoom in. They have all sorts of different animation types, which you can play with. Uh, zoom in seems to work the best for me. And then the attention, so it initiates and then the attention. So I kind of have mine do a little heartbeat and then it zooms out. Like I said, all three of these animations, there's a whole bunch of them. You can play with them, see what's best for you. And we can play with a few of these settings. Maybe you can see kind of what some of it does, but I think the main thing is just trying to get it set up and you can mess with it when you have it. So then you come up here and you open overlay in browser. 
so here's here's my browser and then you can take from your you just want to take the drive and copy all of that so control c because it puts it on your local drive and so what this script is going to be looking at is this html file so you want to go back to obs and then you can click on a new source. You want a browser source. We're gonna call this temp because I already have one and I'm just adding a new one just to show you how it works. So you wanna click on local file. Local file is There we go. So I have the local file in there. So the width, let's make it 1920 for the height. We'll make it 1080. And then we will click on both the shutdown source when not visible and refresh browser when the scene becomes active. And then hit the OK button. So now it is right here. I will expand it all the way. And so now if I go back to my chat bot, I'll need to move it over a little bit out of the way so you can see. And let's do shout out and then a Twitch username. So I'll just do myself, think Angina's, and then there it comes in, it zooms in, does a little heartbeat and then fades away. So in addition to the overlay, I also have made a command in stream elements that adds a bunch of text. So you can do that in stream elements, you can do it in Streamlabs chatbot. Honestly, I pick and choose the stuff that I want from all sorts of stuff. So I use stream elements, I use Streamlabs chatbot, and I use trigger fire. So let's go back to the script and I want to play with these transitions. So let's go to, let maybe it zooms in down and then the heartbeat looks like a rubber band and then it zooms out up. Save settings. Console, let's move that out of the way so we can see it. there it is. So that's how I do my shout outs. I have my automated ones, which I showed in a previous video. And then this is obviously a manual one that you can use. I like it because it shows their Twitch icons. And so it's really evident that they're up on the screen and uh, you can customize it. You can play with the animations and it's, it's pretty neat. If I missed anything or you get stuck or you have questions, just drop it in the chat and I'll make sure to respond until next time. Peace. Can I hit this guy with the uh, fire rod? Does that hurt? Hurt it? No, no. Just sword or sword equivalent, which is why hammer works. All right. I only have a fighter sword. This is going to take a while. And he won't let me down. <laughs> you idiot. Three times I try to jump down. <laughs>